Welcome back everyone, it's Husa 57 here. We are back on Dark Souls 3 with part 6 of the walkthrough. So this will be for the Undead Settlement Bonfire, the second bonfire that you come to. And of course I'm joined by Spartan. Go ahead and uh, say hi there, buddy. Or exactly, yeah, that works too. So not much really over here. Um, you can ignore that group of enemies at the gate. Do be prepared for invaders because, yeah, there's no way to turn that off and it's super annoying. So first item, you're going to have to come over here and cut down the body. And it's just a small leather shield. You can cut down those. Now do be prepared for there to be lots of these little demon things. There's an item there, but we're going to go for this item first. Uh, what you do is cut down that body without falling off and we'll pick that up later come over here go ahead and pick that item up which is actually a useful item it's repair powder uh, might not be super useful right this second but uh, late game it'll come in handy go ahead and pick up that item which is some charcoal pine resin some nice extra fire damage watch out for the guys down here which Spartan's already killing them so that works some more charcoal pine resin and that's pretty easy for this little section. Now we'll come down here and there's multiple different ways that you can go. But uh, yeah, there's the item from the body that we just cut down here, which is Loretta's bone. And then you have all of these guys. So the best way to take them is one or two at a time. Remember, I am a sorcerer. So you can actually lock on to these guys. And currently my heavy soul arrow is enough to go ahead and one-shot them. So you want to thin out the herd a bit, and then you have that giant, like, witch lady to deal with, which I just missed on my cast. And she does that, where she tries to give you a giant flame hug, and she also shoots blood magic at you, or curse magic, whatever you want to call it. And she has a giant mace, so she's extremely painful, um, and you really don't want to fight her with the rest of the group of the enemies. Come over here when she's dead, pick up the soul, and then you can, there's another enemy right there, but you can come pick up that, which is the Estus Flask Shard. Watch out for these guys. Go ahead and drop them. And then there's another enemy and another item right here which is an ember, so, you know, why not embers, right? Gotta have them. Now there's a couple ways you can go. You can go across the bridge, which does have some useful items across it, but we're not gonna go there right now because we wanna actually get to the other bonfire. So just kind of eliminate the enemies. There's usually one right here. There plus the one that I killed. Come over here, you can pick up a couple items. Uh, well, that one was from a corpse, but you know, Tantanite shard and everything. And you can come in here. There's puppies or these little demon bastard thingies, which they do a hell of a lot of damage. And I'm actually going to almost die there. Whew, that was very close. Thanks for the save there, Spartan. Uh, but I like to come in here and kill those things so they don't drop down on you. Um, again, mage, so kind of squishy, only wearing medium armor. And Katana does okay damage, but not enough. Now, though, we get to go inside. And there's another item on that body, which all of these bodies, technically, you can cut down. Even though there's not much of a point. And one of those cages does come alive, so yeah, you want to watch out for that a bit. Go ahead and use a, another Estus, because there's a couple more of those that come alive. But uh, you want to, depending on the weapon that you have, come to right about here-ish, and you can usually hit those bodies and cut them down, which gives you another soul. Sadly, nothing in there that you can open, and pretty much nothing back here. Now a good way to tell if any of these cages are going to come alive 
is you can try and target them, and the ones that you can actually lock onto um, are the ones that come alive. So like that one right there, that one comes alive. That one right there also comes alive. Other than that, not too bad. So at least you can tell which ones are going to be hostile and which ones aren't. Now we have this pathway over here, which leads to another item. It also, usually, there can be an enemy behind you, so, you know, always keep that shield at the ready. And we're not going to deal with the nasty blood magic user just yet. We'll go for him in a second. So there's a ton of enemies between here and there. That blood magic is homing and it has a blast radius. So you want to try and get into the little room here, which also has an item for you. It has an enemy that drops down, but you know, you can easily kill that. And we have the whip. So now we need to avoid said blood magic or curse magic whatever you want to call it, personal preference. You have a little side path right here. It gives you another Tantanite Shard or Titanite Shard. Call it what you want. Again, avoid that stupid blood magic. She's literally right above us. So what you want to do is either shoot her with a bow, shoot her with magic, you know, something like that. Or come around here and go ahead and climb up. And if she isn't looking at you, you can actually backstab her, which is really nice. But if she is looking at you, then it could be a bit of a problem. So you can easily knock her off and yeah, goodbye. So once she's out of there, you can go back up the ladder and collect anything that you might want, which happens to be one item over here. and I do happen to want it. Another Titanite shard. Uh, now you can jump off or you can go back down the ladder. I'm not gonna take the extra damage, so we'll just go down the ladder. And then we have another item right there. Pretty easy to get to. All you have to do is kind of sprint and jump and you'll land right there. It's actually a rusted coin, which is uh, really good later game late game very very good then you jump off and it's a mad phantom right there oh you did kill the lizard thank you uh so yeah there's a mad phantom right there which normally we uh want to come from inside this building but there's really not much of anything inside this building it's just a building so not to worry about that too much i'm gonna try and get rid of this stupid mad phantom because I really do not like invaders. He's gonna try and poke me. I don't like it when they try and poke me. Fireball. <laughs> nope. Sucker. Goodbye, good riddance. Seriously, die already. Thank you. So, he's out of here. And he actually did refill all my Estus, so that is confirmed. You get your Estus back um, from killing them. But you have a few more enemies that way, which this guy does usually more times than not aggro on you. And he does hurt. He also does bleed damage, so keep that in mind. Pretty weak to magic, so relatively easy to kill. The little lizard's body is over there. Did he drop me something? Nope. Darn it. Sometimes you, they drop their machete. But basically come down here and... There you go. Here's your bonfire. Now, I will see you in part 7, where we will go from this bonfire the long way around and show you the couple different ways that you can clear the other areas. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure you leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button, check out Spartan's channel, and remember to subscribe for more content. Peace out.